How does us intelligence always know when exactly an imminent terrorist attack will take place? SIGINT equals signals intelligence equals the digital realm that they monitor i.e. phones, internet, email, radio chatter etc. Human equals human intelligence equals the agents that the science has relationships with across the globe. These are much more valuable sources in governments and organizations that are in the know. They are either ideologically driven, but, more often, get paid money to spy. When Muslims were going from Europe and North American to join ISIS during the 2010s you can be certain the US intelligence community was sending plans to infiltrate the organization. The NSESHA etc is no joke. Remember that 80s song, it feels like somebody's watching me yeah, if you fly they are in fact watching, listening and infiltrating your networks digitally and in real life without you having a clue. They don't always know, but they are operating at an extremely proficient level when it comes to intelligence gathering. Lots of technological and human sources. Maybe things have come a long way since 911 when US intelligence was caught with their pants down. The US Embassy in Moscow said March 7 that it was monitoring reports that extremists have imminent plans to target large gatherings in the Russian capital, to include concerts, and urged US citizens to avoid them. I think US intelligence was flexing on the Russians by releasing this info, letting them know that they are listening to any and everything that they transmit or say on an electronic device, even in Russia. As far as I understand, American citizens, except for our embassy, have already evacuated Russia. The US embassy already called on Americans to leave well over a year ago. I don't think this warning was primarily for the good of our citizens in Russia. The effect of this might be to demoralize the Russians, but it may also cause paranoia. They might realize that they can't win in a fight against the US, and this would factor into their decisions, hopefully nudging them against escalating anything. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack today. Also, the Russian FSB and the US Embassy warned of the possibility of imminent terror attacks around two weeks ago after the FSB thwarted an attack that was planned on a synagogue. FSB found some of the arms munitions. We joke about it and all but Big Brother really is watching. Even before the internet, an AI really took off the feds had ways of tracking and monitoring pretty much anything you could get up to if you were a person of interest. The amount of money the US spends on intelligence is no joke. The NRO gave NASA satellite more advanced than anything they had because it was just sitting in their shells, imagine what they are actually using. It'll echo how powerful and extensive their operations are in terms of monitoring terrorist groups, however it'll also add that these groups normally aren't at the same level as a major military power. The NSA and GCHW and the like aren't magic and their methods are probably more simple than many would assume. A lot of these groups are ragtag religious fundamentalists discussing their attack plans on normal apps anyone can download. They haven't got the funds or resources to develop their own bespoke secure comms channels. This likely doesn't even mean the NSA or the like have cracked encrypted communications apps. It's more likely Occam's Razor they have a plant who has managed to be allowed into the ISIS group chat and is simply reporting back. That's way easier and more tried and tested than some super secret encryption busting technology we don't know about. That's why most intelligence work isn't like a James Bond film with agents scaling buildings with a machine gun and using top secret science fiction gadgets. It's normally boring long game intel work where an agent works for ages, possibly years, to get trust from an enemy organization then simply report back what they find out. They monitor global communications. Look for keywords. When they find them they group them and come up with a threat. Kind of like the NSA monitors the US conversations. If they get a group about the same thing they look deeper and find out what's really going on it's pretty scary how they monitor phone calls and look for words. Computers can do things that it would take way too many people to do. The technology has existed and has been in use since at least the early 90s to have computers monitor all phone calls for certain buzzwords. That's only a very, very small part of intelligence gathering. Intelligence gathering is complicated to say the least. You gather as much as possible and try to form a picture from it. Imagine having to gather jigsaw puzzle pieces from all over the world with no idea what, what the puzzle will look like, how big it is, how many puzzles you have to assemble. Some of the pieces might not fit into anything, none of the pieces are the same size, some pieces don't belong to anything, and some may have been planted just to fuck with you. Dot. So all of this is gathered, organized, then analyzed and someone has to decide what is likely get it wrong too often and you develop a reputation like a weatherman, so you issue vague warnings like imminent attacks on large gatherings to include concerts of course concerts are going to be included, they are large gatherings, unless the music really sucks. Imminent and large gathering is by no means an exact time or place. 
After the fact it's much easier to look back at what's been gathered and say we heard XYZ talking about that. They shouldn't and can't tell us. But the short answer is, lots of people die and kill, so we can learn information we don't have, that we need. Best intelligence offices in the world intel and logistics win wars baby. They gather intelligence. They were off by a month and didn't know exactly where. They are good, but not on mission. March 7th was two weeks ago, more than a few days, and not any sign of knowing exactly when anything might happen. They issue these warnings pretty broadly for the safety of American citizens who might be in Russia. US is better than China at knowing all. Every intelligence agency is really good at something. The US intelligence agencies are really good at listening in on everyone everywhere. Informants. They know a lot. But if you think they always know you I think you have a weird definition of the word always.